I got an email today from Costco. I felt very special that the hot warehouse buys started today. So I clicked over there, checked them out, hopped in the car and came down to Costco. Cause if you don't know, the hot warehouse buys are kind of like this flash sale that lasts for only seven to 10 days. So time is of the essence. So let's do what we always do. My friends walk around one of my favorite places on the planet, Costco, show you what's on sale, show you what to buy, what to avoid, but more importantly, how to read those ingredients on the back. So you put the best quality stuff in your body and your family's body. Less talking, more shopping. Let's go. This is actually a great deal on a Bobby approved organic lip balm from EOS. It's $11.99 for nine sticks. Actually, both this and Burt's Bees are Bobby approved, but I'd say this one is slightly better. Organic is nice, but I actually don't use lip balm. I think the more you use this stuff, the more you need it. Your lips become dependent upon it. They stop producing their natural oils and moisturizer and you're hooked on this. And I see people who use this stuff all day. So be sparing when you need it, maybe just in the winter when it's very dry out. But this is good. So organic is nice, but you have to read the ingredients. We know personal care can be a minefield. So if we look at the ingredients here, it's clean. It's plant-based. There's no fragrances. You will see the word flavor there. So it's natural flavors. And I'm okay with that in a personal care product. You're not ingesting this. And it is organic sunflower seed oil. Now, it's not ideal, the sunflower seed oil. It'd be better if the product was made with uh, extra virgin olive oil or coconut oil. I actually have one at home in case I need it from uh, Badger and it's made with virgin coconut oil or extra virgin olive oil. That's not ideal, but it's fine. And the natural flavor is way better than going to the fragrance or the uh, personal care section behind me and seeing the word fragrance. So this is actually nice. If you use it, it's a phenomenal deal. And this is also Bobby approved. The only difference is this isn't organic. And I don't love the fact that the oils here are, yes, sunflower, but they're also using canola oil and soybean oil. See that? Canola and soybean. And because it's not organic, it's gonna be GMO. Not the biggest deal because it's on your lips, but these kind of oils are more um, processed and already oxidized. And when you put that on your lip, the sun can oxidize it even more, causing a little bit of skin damage. But if you're in the market for lip balm, don't go crazy. Don't become hooked on it, right? But that's a really good deal. Um, I noticed this was on sale and I didn't talk about it in the November sale video from the other week. This is the best uh, laundry detergent you can get at Costco. And it's a ridiculous deal. It's uh, 225 ounces for $12. Now, somebody posted about this on the Flav City Facebook community board. It's a very spirited board. People get very, very excited over there. They're like, why is this Bobby approved if it has fragrance and phenoxyethanol in there? Well, listen, it's a way better for you choice. If you look at the normal ones, like the Tides and whatnot, those are going to have way worse ingredients, way worse preservatives and chemicals and skin irritants. Phenoxyethanol is not bad in a laundry detergent. I don't love the fragrance. And as I've learned more about fragrances the last six months, it's not ideal at all, but it's a better for you choice here at Costco. Um, at home, we have a few different ones. We have one from Molly Suds, Humble Suds. Sometimes we use the Branch Basics uh, detergent and we have something called Planet. But at Costco, I'm telling you, this is the best you can do and that price is honestly dynamite. Quick little shout out for a phenomenal product I'm pulling out of my bag here, Seed. The Seed Kids Probiotic. You're not gonna find a quality probiotic at any grocery store, even online, to be honest. Seed is, yes, a supporter of the channel, but they're relatively new. Pediatric Symbiotic for kids three to 17 is phenomenal. And Rose has been taking this since she turned three back in June and fantastic. It's made her even more regular. We have friends we've gifted this to who the kids have a really tough diet and they've seen a big turnaround in regularity. And even Rose, she's not keen on eating fruit. And so we have to get more gut friendly foods in her body, but we also have to help her with a uh, probiotic. This is the one you want. Yes, they make the one for the adults, but the one for kids is great. It's nine custom strains of bacteria. And even though it's a powder, the individual bacteria are coated in lipid and they survive your tummy acids and make it to the kid's colon to help with regularity, immune health, skin, all that jazz. So if you're looking for a probiotic for kids or adults, Seed is where it's at. Use my link down below. It's always a discount code. That gets you 15% off your first month supply, free shipping, 
flat rate shipping for all around the world and 30 days risk free. But uh, check them out. If you're in the market for a probiotic, use my link. You will love seed. These guys are on sale. The Kinder Spice Rub. My gosh, they have so many seasonings here. They have the market cornered, my friends, and basically none of these are Bobby approved. Even though it's a good deal, you get this big old jug of garlic and herb organic seasoning. For $4.99, that's crazy. And you think to yourself, how bad can a seasoning mix be? The answer is bad because you see the ingredients here, okay? We have sugar as the third ingredient. We have maltodextrin, at least it's organic, non-GMO maltodextrin. We have sunflower oil. We have natural flavor. Three strikes and you're out. Even though the World Series is over, I'm calling you out. I'm Bobby the umpire. Natural flavor in a spice rub. There's plenty of flavor in herbs and spices. Natural flavor is the biggest lie in the grocery store. As we all know, there's nothing natural about it. Adding sugar, I can maybe uh, see an excuse for that, but not for a savory one like this. And um, the sunflower oil is probably an anti-caking agent, but even though it's organic, it's still highly processed, highly inflammatory. All of that in one jar, no, no, no. And I just happened to see it here. This could be even worse than the other one. It's not on sale, it's a truffle, black truffle Parmesan seasoning. There's no truffles in here. Can you read this? It says for the black truffle, it's natural and artificial flavors. It's cheese natural flavor here. I don't see any real truffles in here. Anytime you see truffle oil, truffle seasoning, it's all BS. They just use artificial natural flavors, truffle aroma. Look at your bottle of truffle oil in your cabinet. There's no truffles in there. It's truffle aroma. They might put a little black one in there to make it look like it's in there. They ain't doing nothing. When I was in Tuscany, oh my gosh, back in September, it was the beginning of truffle season. And I hooked up with a local truffle hunter and he sold me a nice piece. Oh, I was shaving that over pasta at the restaurants every night. That was amazing. This is the opposite of that. Don't get fooled because there ain't no tartufa in there. It's that time of the year, pomegranate season, and they're on sale. $4 off, so eight pounds for $16. There's 10 pomegranates in here for 16 bucks. That's a good deal. And while I never drink pomegranate juice, especially the big one in the case over there, because that's pomegranate juice from concentrate, which is the most processed process out there. You don't want that heavily refined, condensed down to a powder on the shelf for years until they have to reconstitute it with water. I love fresh pomegranates, tastes great. Loaded with antioxidants, great for juice. We buy this machine on Amazon where you just like crush it into juice or you use this like for cooking. The pomegranate seeds are very nice in uh, salad. So I'm gonna get a case of these. Desi loves them. We wait until this year every time. And the fact they're on sale is just winning even more. There's a really interesting deal in the cookware aisle here. And it's this, it's these three pans here for $80. Now, before I go into this, we're literally two weeks away from the launch of the Flav City cookware set. It's been a project in the works for two years. So on December 1st, you can grab my cookware set. You can buy the whole thing, individual pans, individual knives at flavcitycookware.com. Don't go there until December 1st. It's not live yet, but it's all non-toxic. It's all high quality. It's all stuff you really need as opposed to getting a cookware set with like 15 pots and pans, half of which will collect dust in your cabinets. Now, back to this thing. This is interesting because if you feel it, it feels nonstick, but it says right here specifically that it's PFOA, but it also says ceramic, but it doesn't say that it's not based out of Teflon and it doesn't say that it's forever chemical free. And the thing is, a lot of people claim it's PFOA free. That's just one of literally dozens of forever chemicals in nonstick traditional coatings like Teflon. So this kind of surface called granidium or granite is actually derived from Teflon. And I don't know if it's a hundred percent non-toxic and free of all forever chemicals. So I have to do a little more research on that. I know, for example, when you buy something that's anodized, that's always going to be free of forever chemicals, stainless steel and stuff like that. But there's really tricky ways to say Teflon and whatnot. So I'll dive into that. But if you want true, high quality, safe, non-toxic cookware, December 1st, FlavCityCookware.com is coming at you. That's it, family. I'm going to be honest. I'm a little disappointed because this flash sale for the hot warehouse buys was weak. 
the November sale, which we did the video for the other week, was a week also. So the holidays are approaching and I hope the sales kick into high gear with some high quality stuff because we gotta get out of this little bit of a rut we're in now. But uh, that is it my friends from Costco, my happy place. I leave you like I always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. My love and peace. Later.